And we're back with Clock Tower 2. Spyro didn't meet her timeline yesterday. Ha 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 ha. That's what she gets for being a jerk. And, um, um, Spyro, are you planning on speaking up anytime soon? I'm here. I'm here. Jeez, what's wrong with you? <sighs> Be quiet, Alyssa. I've just had to practice for hours trying to get my voice deep for a Bates cosplay. It's not easy. Oh? Yes. Uh, what were we doing? Mm -hmm. What's our inner inventory? Uh, storage key. Have we talked to Alex yet? I don't think so. But yes, it's not easy. I'm trying to talk as Bates. It's... it's... I know I can't be a Roger Jackson or anything, but... But talking like this constantly for two hours is very... It hurts. Very much. I still think Tate's a guy who did it. Hi, Alex! Uncle Philip? Uh-huh. There was yellow blood at his house, remember? Oh, yeah. There's a creature here, too, with yellow blood. Are you sure that was blood? blood? you really, 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 really sure? Tate's missing. Missing? No. I think we should go over to the lab. Tate's the boss there, isn't he? I guess that's how he can afford that huge yes. house. All right, then. Let's get out of here. I'll go over now. You come later. I still don't see why you keep abandoning me. It's, it's not easy trying to talk in a low voice all the time. Seriously, you'd go crazy too if you had to constantly go, Remember when I told you that your little dog ran away? For two hours. Why that line? Um, ask Bates. Okay. Why won't you just tell me? It's probably better coming from him. Do we have the amulet on us? No, good. I'm really hoping my mom's TV outside isn't catching up on this. Am I even sitting close enough to the microphone? I don't even know. Hmm. Well, I guess if I'm supposed to ask Bates that question, I better go find a zombie. Oh yeah, right here. This works. Stupid run away into the other room mechanic. Alyssa. 
Uh, yeah, Spyroid said something about my little dog I had when I was like three or something. Um, I believe it was seven. Whatever, same difference. But she said something about that little doggy I had. It, and, uh, and, um, I don't know, she said it had something to do with you. Um... Does it? Uh, okay, nice now. Other zombie. Exactly that. Well, technically, it would be you, because kind of using your body, so. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! See, this is why I don't tell you a thing. Hey, Bates, look at this so I can have this quote on record, please. Fine. There's nothing here I can use. Okay, I thought so. It's the same voice clip. Thank you, Bates. You're not welcome. Looking for something? Yeah, you have anything that's not a monkey suit? Goodness sakes. Uh... Oh well. Back to talk to that nurse. I guess. I'm so disturbed. But you asked me. I know, but still. I think there was still something I was supposed to look at. Uh, yes there was. Yes there was. Well, we'll get back to that. Oh wait, did we get the lights flickering switch? Sticky? I don't know. We'll look at it when we when we get back. Okay. Bates, please stop talking so much, my throat hurts. Serves you right for being a jerk yesterday. I was on scheduled time. Sure. Spyroid, I'm in a bad mood. Can we just kill off everybody? Uh, well, considering what we're doing this run, sure. Yes, thank you. Hey, what are you doing in here? This is the end. Everyone's gonna die. To wander about forever? Find your answer oh, in there. God, that hurts. Yeah, whatever. It won't let me hit you or anything. I found the screwdriver. Hooray. Let's go. Hello? 
listen, you've been given verbal permission and you've been and you've been keeping quiet. You're freaking me out. I just discovered you ate my little dog. What do you think? I mean Well you ask me. Jeez, when I tell you something runs away, you should already automatically know it's dead. <sighs> Jeez. Act like I'm the bad guy. You ate my dog! Well, tasted good if that's any consolation. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> I know, he ate my dog! Alyssa, uh, that's not what he's talking about. Uh, huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of Just like me. you did to my dog! And while they're chewing on oh, you, be quiet about the time. I can't escape. Yes, that's it. What a great idea. He's crazy. So was Alyssa, for that matter. <gasps> Everybody is crazy. <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten! And I really don't look good with red hair. Pretty darn it, Alyssa. A coward. <laughs> They'll eat you up! I don't care. <laughs> I've got means of defense. All you have is a crazy voice. I still fail to see how you feel. So, so, I don't know. I don't even know. Anymore. It's just that exit. Hey, dude, dude, get a grip, get a grip, please, jeez, come on, there's a back door key, why don't you stop laughing and escape or something, like a normal person, jeez. These suicidal people. There's no health in here, is there? Spire, I don't know why you're complaining about the voices. Because you're technically having to do it right now. I know, and it's pain. No, 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 don't go there. I know, and it's very painful. <laughs> eh, your fault for wanting to cosplay me. <laughs> Seriously, your outfit is the only your 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 general outfit. I don't mean the monkey outfit. Is the only reason I would happily wear a skirt. The only time ever. Ah, uh, shoot. Sure. Right, let's lose some lid. Oh yeah, spyroid. I can't fire in the dark, by the way. You kinda gotta give me time to aim though. Well well you took too long. amused, aren't you, base? Yes, I am. Shut up.
Oh yeah, you stay away from my dog, Bates. Oh, come on, won't you just let that go? My mom's, not yours, Bates. Well, then stop using my voice for when you're talking normally. Come on. <laughs> There's a chair in your view. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Back to here, we'll be able to get the uh, shotgun right away, and we should be able to do this on a hitch. Yay! You're gonna jinx yourself. I know. Let's try and get this done. Gamma. Hey, thank you. And I'm still not talking to you. I know. Grab the check in and let's get this over with. Cerebral toxin confidential. Interesting. Uh, this makes sense. You're the game developers, not to Getting be ignored to with thyroid or any other into a person. The bacteria forms a new parasitic brain and it makes, makes the old brain, brain stop functioning. functioning. That, that means, means the zombie's weak, weak point is, point is their, their parasitic brain. brain. Yeah, no really. I've got to try. <laughs> well, that was easy. Let's see. This is just everything is normally, alright? Yeah. Nope. You know, Bates? Since you did hang the nurse in the last clip, I actually am not going to let you kill her. Darn it. Sorry. That's what you have. That's what you get for trying to wander off on your own. <laughs> I still can't believe Bates ate Spot! Oh, well, Alyssa, get over it. Make sure we got this event, because it's kind of important. We got it, right? Hmm, everything seems normal here. Really, Alyssa? In a hospital infested with zombies? For reals? Realsies? Everything is normal in my life! Well, okay, I guess I didn't take that into consideration. Okay, let's get healed and go upstairs. Come on, run normal, Alyssa. I don't want to. Oy.
No, 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 no. This way. Actually, I wonder if we can get Alyssa to look at the cerebral toxin after Bates read it. Because she's kind of just like, What in the world is this? I'm too stupid to read. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Oh, okay. I kind of do. But, but I sound... I, I... 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 I can't do it. You can't do it. You can't... Your voice is generally not... Not light enough to make the... The actual Alyssa voice. I know. And doing Bates voice hurts me. Ha uh ha. -huh. Make a sound like good Nelson, anyway. Come on, I want to see if it's there. Can we read it? No, okay, I don't want to. Let's go. Back on track! I'm having to drink soda like every two seconds because my throat. Wow, you know, you can cosplay as my alter ego, but you don't have to go all the way with the voice. It's not, it's not, it's not professional if I don't do it that way. Uh -huh. If it's professional, you'd be dressing up in the monkey suit. What? No. Is that the same button? Yeah, that's the same button. Okay. Just looks like it's higher. Okay, talk to the nurse out of suicide. Let's go. Yay! I thought you said you were going to kill her. Nuke. You Bates ruined that deal. Hi, nurse. Nurse, stop. It's all over. I have no desire to live. The monkey suit isn't helping either. If you commit suicide now, you'll turn into a zombie. Stop trying to be cryptic. To? You're in a freaking monkey suit. Dead, but alive. Wandering forever. Paradox! No, don't, please. You know, I've learned to trust people, so I'm going to trust you'll be A-OK. -okay. And I've also read an energy-saving book, so I'm going to turn off this light here as I leave the room. OK, bye, nurse. Wait, I can't see. I can't see. Wait, wait, wait. Turn it on. I can't. I can't see. OK, OK, I think I can maneuver myself off this bench without... Ah! I'm sure she's going to be OK. Dude, are you sure you don't want to take me up in my offer of escaping with me? It seems like a whole better idea. <laughs> it's all over. He's the one who did it. <laughs> I can't think of a better script. I wasn't given one. We were on a budget. Oh, I get it. Excuse me, but... Huh? You? Those creatures can eat you instead of me. And while they're chewing on you... I can't escape. I miss yes, Oh, what get off the idea. dog already. You've gone crazy. Yep, I got everything. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> Hurry up and get eaten. I don't want to. Okay. Big sis. <laughs> Technically. Don't call me your sister. Are you wearing? Why does everybody have that reaction? I like this costume. I don't. Can't Why, forgive Bates? you. Who are you? That's not important. Thank you for rescuing me. Rescuing you? Wow, we all look like clowns now. Only <laughs> because 
I won't let you die so easily. Huh? Okay. Down the stairs. Everbates, it's part of our deal. I'll let you kill one person off. Oh, really? Yeah. Verbal permission! You had it earlier, you didn't want it because you're still sulking about your dog. Oh, for goodness sake! That research lab is hiding some secret, and it's next door to this hospital. Research lab? Uh-huh. For researching pharmaceuticals, mainly. Hmm. I'm going over there. You coming with me? Sure, I guess. Maybe this time. I mean, you're not so bad of a stranger. And maybe we could pick up Burger okay. King on the way? Well, I'll go over first. You come along later then, okay? Oh, come on! I'm a defenseless 17-year-old schoolgirl in a monkey costume! Who leaves us alone? Seriously! <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Breathe, Alyssa. Breathe. doggy would want you to live? Oh, for come on, Alyssa! See, this is why I don't tell you things. Is it what? 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 What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? What? If oh, I know what I'm missing. <laughs> you can't leave without the amulet. <laughs> I'm stupid. She it. She admits it. Shut up. I can't leave my amulet. He was from my daddy, whom I have mixed feelings about right now. Anyway, but I still can't get rid of it. Might be able to sell it on eBay later. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, so I want to pick up the amulet. Alright, let's go. With key in hand, because Alyssa can't use keys on her own. I'm gonna learn someday! Sure you are, Alyssa. Sure you are. I swear I am! Game. We're going to cut on. Let's go. 
Let's roll. Oh no, it's oh, locked. This is gonna be terrible with a chair blocking my view. Let's get out of here. The door's locked. Stuck. Stand back. I am epic. No, you're not. <gasps> you're incredibly stupid. I did ask your opinion. And fainting mode on. Unlimited shotgun. Go! Rapid tapping of the X button. Go! Me hating this part. Always been there. Come on. Die, brown vest. Die, pink shirt. Die, nurse. Die, another brown vest. They seem to only come up with free costumes for the hospital zombies. No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, I said die. Hey, hey. I said die. You obey me. You obey me. done. Because I don't feel like mowing you down by the door for some stupid reason, so there we go. Ah, uh, you're awake. You're unconscious, and I brought you here. Hope you don't mind. Are you sure? I mean, this is a police investigation. Yeah, I... I think we went over this in, in the first time. Oil research lab. Yeah, I saw Philip Tate come in here. As a policeman, I can't ignore that, can I? I thought you were a detective. Yeah, he's here. Details, details. He's mighty suspicious. With all the evidence, he's got to be involved somehow. No, that's not true. My uncle's the laboratory director. It's perfectly normal for him to be here. Well, I ship case, these two in normal here. costume. I'm gonna take a look around. I totally do. Uh, yeah, thanks for that bit of information. Information? What's information? Information, Spyroid. Okay. Anyway, here's another scene coming up that nobody has recorded. So, yeah. Well, if we ever get these uploaded in time, this will be the first recording. English recording. I've seen it on the Japanese version. Playthrough. Nikozon.net, good for your Japanese needs. No, no, no. Light switch. Oh yeah, Alyssa! We get an ending here! Uh-oh. I knew this was good too good to be true! Anyway, come in here. And here will be the scene that nobody on YouTube has shown. To my knowledge. I've never seen it. Soon. Hmm, Mr. Bowman isn't there! I wonder why! Oh my gosh! Mr. Bowman? <gasps> oh. I'm sorry, Alyssa. 
I'm sorry I had to do that to you, but but me and Mates had a deal. He first killed my dog, and then he killed a nice man! Who really needs to learn some better pickup line. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alyssa. I didn't mean to. I don't like being mean to NPCs. Oh. <laughs> I did it again! <laughs> Derp. Yays! Anywho, look at body, because, I don't know. Seems to me like the zombie doesn't come out. Event cut. Yays! Okay, now event cut. Off. Thank you. Mm. I'm gonna wait to hide the amulet in here. There's a place to do it. You can do it. Oh man, Maxwell! I know, Alyssa, I know. Place it there. Chair is it within sight. Saving. Petting the dog for good luck. Who's a good doggy? I miss my doggy. Alyssa, really get off that. Okay. George freaking Maxwell. <gasps> die and suffer forever. What mask? You see, I really am a horny devil. I'm used to voice clip. Run, Alyssa. What the, what the, what, 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 what? Okay. Okay. This totally isn't gonna mess me up. Sure. Sure. Please don't mess me up. Okay, I think I can get into a wide enough hallway. Maxwell is slow. Slow, Maxwell. Slow. Um. Um. being the huge word here. Okay. Hey, Maxwell. Good. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, thanks goodness. Oh, is there gonna be a zombie in here? Please don't. It's okay. God. There's a zombie in here. Okay. Here's a good... One has a good dog. He's just... Over here. Pray I'm charged up enough by the time he gets over here. Please. It's at the foot. Shoot him. Thank you. Stupid chair. Okay, so looking at the body does absolutely nothing. Yay! Not yay. Thank you. Just in case. Well, look what I found. Ah! Thank you. I, I need that quote. Another zombie, and we can call it. Huh? That can be called a day. This chapter was much longer. Um, you'll see.
Go over here. I like how the icon turns into those swirls when you have the Milkana out. Do not get in my way, stupid chair. Hey. Thank you. Stupid zombies. Okay. Huge point of frustration for probably a bunch of people playing this game. I think these doors will be unlocked. Yep. Remember how they were locked in the first go? Oh look, there's blood on the floor. I wonder what that could be. Yep, that's the reason why it takes two playthroughs to get the endings. Because you have to look at that samurai in chapter one, or you're dead! Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Everyone must die. Sure, Maxwell. Sure. Yep, that ending is a sign of doom for many. Yep. And with that, you have all 13 endings. Yay! I already showed you the credits. Hey. Ending G. Well, now that that's done, we're actually done with gameplay. What a stupid way to end this! Well, don't worry, we're not done, Bates. See, I'm gonna show you interesting things now. First, I'll show you the hit list to show you the hints I couldn't physically pick up. Hint number one. Alyssa and Baines encounter, encounter different events. If you find yourself unable to continue, first change personalities by putting down the amulet and then try again. Hint 2. There are some events that Alyssa can clear only when she has put down the amulet. Put down the amulet and, and then try again, which is pretty much just one rewritten. After saving Aunt Catherine from Stephanie, lock Stephanie in the bedroom. Since one particular item has not been expended, you should be able to use it here. Hint 4. When confronting Stephanie in front of the fireplace, drop the amulet. Be sure to pick it up again. 5. If you do not see all the events in Noisy Monster Cage, you will not be able to escape from the hospital. 6. Head Nurse Cook and Reporter Berm- Bleah, I can't talk. Head Nurse Cook and Reporter Bowman appear in Noisy Monster Cage, but they also appear in The Fathers, and you saw 7 and 8 at the thing. Now the thing you unlock when you first get the A ending, the guide. That gives some some um extra extra stuff into the um ah, I can't talk. Basically some extra back background. Okay. Alyssa Hale, a young girl Alan dug up from the Maxwell family grave to cause the ruin of George Maxwell. Her real name is Lynn Maxwell. Next. Her pop her father, the director of a major hospital, was not home much, so Alyssa spent most, much of her childhood- There's a chair in my way. Shut up. Much of her childhood alone, and she grew up to become a very quiet girl. When she was still quite young, her father gave her a charm, which she called Amulet. Yay, I gave it a name! She carried it- she carried it around- carried it around with her always, and it became the sor a source of power. Even though it doesn't do anything besides change me back! And prevent bad endings, which would be breaking the fourth wall! I know, Alyssa, don't question it. She has a gloomy disposition. What? Possessed with the spirit- with, with spiritual intu- Sp Possessed with spiritual in intuition. She wants to link everything to otherworldly phenomena. Yes, which is why I know this is not science! Bates. Alyssa's male alter ego. The Maxwells, feeling, fearing that their twins were the cursed children born yet again, buried them alive in the family grave just after they were born, as was done in past generations. Bates is cruel, unjust, and heartless. Yeah, for eating my dog! Oh, get off it! Get kind to 
yet kind to Alyssa. Besides eating my dog! Which might be a simple defense instinct. Any actual significance or reason to his, to his existence is unknown. What? They're just going out of their way to say, I don't know! I know, I know. Alan Hale, I hate you. Al Alyssa's stupid guardian father, but a but actually Shannon Luz is his true daughter. He abandoned her, he abandoned her, and let her die without blinking an eye. Hale, at one time, worked with Philip Tate in at the Memorial Pharmaceuticals Research Lab. Hale was among the top technicians, a very sadistic person who should die. At the lab until the science until the science genius George Maxwell appeared and and ousted him from his position. Darn straight. Coincident coincidentally, he conspired with Philip Tate to dig up the Maxwell's illegitimate child, leaving the other twin for death from the grave. The plan was to cause the ruin of George Maxwell. Because that's a, that's what you do when you dig up a baby from a grave. You don't contact the authorities. You, ju you just, like, say, Hey, I'm gonna use you to make the other person feel bad. Ha ha ha. But instead of using Alyssa, he extracted his revenge by infecting the golden statue with a toxin. That would cause anyone who touched the statue to go raving mad. Hooray! Where's my seizure duck? Philip Tate, the director of the Memorial Pharmaceuticals Research Lab, although a coward, willing to even commit a crime if it would help him reach his ambitions, Tate digs up the Maxwell grave at Hale's urging. Hale told Tate that the statue contained the Maxwell family secret, but it's really science! He fully believed the Maxwell curse, and he kept the statue hidden in a closet for 16 years without noticing the toxin hidden inside. Catherine Tate. Philip Tate's wife. She has no particular role, but she is the one who contacts the detective who takes Alyssa to the hospital. We thought we might as well get put up the pretty arts. Michael Tate. The eldest son in the Tate family and about to enter high school. Was before he died. While trying to escape from Stephanie, he has become a murderous zombie. He climbs inside the a suit of samurai armor. While in the armor, he too goes crazy from the toxin and himself becomes a wandering murderous zombie. Yay! Ashley Tate, a first year middle school student. While coming home from school, she is infected with the cerebral toxin by George Maxwell and, and becomes a living corpse. After returning home, she attacks her mother, Catherine, and is then killed by her father, Philip. But her right arm, which which was injected with the toxin, continues to live. A very unlucky girl. Well, oh no. I know, Alyssa. Stephanie Tate. We make her look more important than she actually was by putting her picture on the cover of the game. On the disc. A first grader and the younger daughter of the Tates, who has become a murderer's of the Tates. It also, according to the, the pamphlet inside the game, Alan Hale's other daughter! Ha ha ha! What have you done to Aunt Catherine, dear father? Who becomes a murderous zombie after she is infected with the toxin implanted in the golden statue by Alan Hale. She ultimately returns to normal from the chemical reaction when she sees the statue burn before her eyes. Because we all know bacteria leaves and dies once its main source is burned up. The main source being solid gold, which shouldn't really burn in the first place, so... Yeah, science! In the end, the soul freed from Stephanie was merely a hallucination from the toxin Alyssa saw. She was not possessed by anything. Sure, science! Sure, she was just a seven-year-old wandering murderer. Okay. Alex Corus, a cool bull. You won't even mow down zombies next to the door, come on. Snobbish detective from the neighboring town of... Brunel? Okay. Probably some Japanese town! <laughs> he saves his reputation as a cool character by turning up at the end of the scenario. Uh-huh. Like, not protecting Alyssa or anything? Sure. Even the scenario writer doesn't know what happens between Cory and Alyssa after everything is over. <laughs> wink wink, nudge nudge. 
Doug Bowman, a newspaper reporter with a strong sense of dash, ju yeah, justice. He mo looks more tan in his game model than his artwork. He too is regulated to playing a supporting role like Alex, Alex Corey. Although it's more minor, but his personality does not change. When does Alex's change? He, op he is open-hearted and straightforward, but he has but he is bad at dealing with dead-end situations. He tends to make hasty decisions. Sure, we really did see that. Henry Caplin, or as I like to say, Kaplan! The director of, of M Memorial Hospital. Shouldn't there be a though there? Kaplan helps, <laughs> helps George Maxwell by providing him with patients for experiments. Yeah, I wouldn't trust a doctor with a voice like his, really. This causes m Memorial Ho there Really, there should be a the. This causes the Memorial Hospital to have a bad reputation. Jessica Cook. She's an emotionally unstable woman. Ha ha ha. The head nurse of the Memorial Hospital. She investigates Kaplan's <laughs> activities on her own. When she discovers the cerebral toxin plan, there are already many zombies, and she thinks it's too late to do anything about it, so she tries to commit suicide. She luckily survives after Alyssa turns off the light. She is an extremely overwrought emotional woman. Yet Bates is upset that he failed to make her cry. Shannon Lewis. 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 Uh, or, or that. Daughter of Alan Hale. When, when she was eight years old, her parents divorced and she was taken, in, taken into custody by her mother. Luckily, because her father is terrible, who died of an illness a year later. Shannon was raised by relatives. Her hatred of her father, Alan Hale, builds when she sees him with Alyssa. She realizes she wants she realizes she wants to extract her badge. Even though she decides to commit suicide in the end instead of killing Alan Hale, which is what everybody, at least I would, would want to see. George Maxwell. Works at Memorial Pharmaceuticals Research Lab. I still think there should be a the there. The eldest son of the noble Maxwell family. He has always had a reputa reputation of being a genius, and rightfully so. Yeah, he only says, like, how many words? Everyone must die and suffer forever. You should not have been born. Uh, I don't know. Too many words. It's in the double digits, anyway. Alan Hale is jealous of him and plans the whole incident. Being a jerk and putting harm in the way of this 17-year-old schoolgirl. In 1982, George Maxwell has a baby girl, Lynn, and also another twin, which we're not going to reveal anything about and go out of our way to say we don't know. But but believing her to be cursed, he buries her according to Maxwell tradition. From then on, he hatches his cerebral toxin plan, which for him is most likely revenge against all humanity. Okay. He goes insane from the toxin implanted in, into the, in the statue, which was sent to him by Alan Hale. Because he is a jerk. He turns into a psychopath killer, and he is virtually dead. And Jason Voorhees. Golden Statue. Alan Hale gives this statue to Philip Tate, saying that it possesses the magical magic, when in fact it's SCIENCE! But in reality, there is a toxin implanted into the statue, which makes people go raving mad. Rave! 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 Alan thinks that Philip saw Alyssa when he dug her up from the Maxwell crypt. She was crying in the end! He could hear her! So he plans to silence him with the infected statue. Yeah, see how much of a jerk Alan Hale is? He's killing his best friend! Because he thinks he saw a baby when, when one could obviously hear her crying. He hesitates to use Alyssa to ruin George Maxwell, so he sends the statue to George and make, to make him go insane as well. <sighs> Maxwell family history. We're not going to give you much on here because we want to go out of our way to say we don't know. Twin girls are rarely born into the Maxwell family who, believing them to be cursed, have been burying them alive for the past hundred years. No authorities have gotten on their backs for this, by the way. It is unknown if the alter ego is the other twin spirit or if it is some ghost seeking revenge on the Maxwells. So basically, again, we're going out of our way to say, WE DON'T KNOW! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Amulet. A plain amulet given to Alyssa by Alan Hale, her guardian father, which she has kept since childhood. It, the design on it keeps changing depending on the manga in the in the uh, Japanese version manual and the game. It is most likely purchased at some shrine. Alyssa is often emotionally unstable, possibly because she knows she has an alter ego. Well, what do you think? I have a male alter ego! How do you think it feels when I take a bath? Hale gave, it, gave her the amulet to provide her stability and to help prevent baits from appearing. But I ditch it most of the time because the blue one's prettier. Hells yeah. Cerebral toxin. Blech. Losing my voice. George Maxwell researched and developed this toxin. When administered, it grows into a parasitic brain inside the human body, killing the true brain. This causes the blood to turn yellow, for unexplained reason, and the skin to turn green, still unexplained reason, science! Unless the parasitic brain is destroyed, the body will continue to live, even if it is hacked to pieces. Case in point, Ashley. So yes, everything, everything that happened in this game was science! Ah, jeez. Bull. And that's it. So, that will mark the end of our Rift of Clock Tower 2. And, to see us off, to see us off on our, to see us off for the end of this, I bring you an epic line from Bates. It's showtime.